This is the reading from 1 Peter, chapter 2, verses 2 to 10. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scripture, See, I am laying a Zion in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe, he is precious. But for those who do, who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word, as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you might proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous, marvelous light. Once you were not a people. But now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Illegal settlements come in many shapes and sizes. In Jerusalem and Hebron and other cities, they appear as new suburbs or developments and are marketed with large billboards and show homes. These settlements are built on land that under international law belongs to Palestinians. Because they are not identified by se as settlements by the Israeli government, people can live in these settlements without realizing what they are doing. I visited a Susia settlement in the West Bank. The streets were paved and, and lined with trees and flowers. There are greenhouses, schools, and a synagogue. The home that I visited was finished with wood imported from Europe and filled with books and a piano. Across the valley, less than a mile away, is Susia Village, where the Palestinian community lives in tents because their village was bulldozed under Israeli authorization. They rely on farming for their survival. In the valley between the two communities, I could see a Palestinian farmer planting into soil that was dry and rocky. The people of Susia Village were watching for settlers to ensure the farmer's safety. It is common for farmers and shepherds to be attacked by settlers while working the land or grazing their livestock. On a ridge to our left, there were two Israeli soldiers also observing the planting. Because they are part of an occupying force, they have a responsibility to protect Palestinians. They do this by sending the Palestinians home and declaring the field a closed military zone. They can do nothing to the settlers because they fall under civil law and outside the jurisdiction of the soldiers. Only settlements are identified on official maps, so by naming the settlement after the Palestinian village, the village disappears. In rural areas, the land appears vacant, even though it is filled with Palestinian communities and the land is used for farming and grazing. Since the land appears vacant in official records, there is no barrier to claiming the land for settlement development. In many cases, Palestinians hold deeds to the land which are ignored, or the holders are evicted through violent means or through the use of pressure. Sometimes in urban areas, a settlement is started when a family arrives at a Palestinian home in the middle of the night and forcibly removes the family. The settler family and their supporters move in and gradually take over the surrounding homes. Any attempt to remove the settlers or resist them results in violence. Because the settlers fall under civil law, they may proceed with impunity. The settlers believe that they are building the foundations of a new home in a land promised by God. The Palestinians plant crops in, a, in land filled with stones and use those same stones to build their homes. What cornerstone will be used to create a new society in this place where all will be safe?